Welcome back to Cardades.org. Today we are going to be continuing with our series, Making Voting More Democratic, Desirability Conditions for Voting Systems. In this video, we will be looking at the desirability condition known as the Pareto Condition. Now, what is the Pareto Condition? The Pareto Condition for single winner systems is that if everyone prefers one candidate, X, to another Y, then Y is not the winner. If everyone would rather have X than Y, then there's no way Y can be the winner. For systems that output a social ranking of first place, second place, third place, and fourth place, and so on, instead of just one winner, the condition claims that if everyone in a society prefers X to Y, then Y cannot rank higher than X on the final societal ranking. Now, this condition seems amazingly intuitive and desirable. If everyone wants choice X over choice Y, and then choice Y is suddenly chosen or ranked higher than choice X in the final ranking, something has gone horribly wrong with our voting system. And in fact, this condition is so intuitive and desirable that all of our voting procedures that we're looking at, even dictatorship, fulfill it. One system which we're not examining here, known as sequential pairwise voting, does not fulfill this criterion. Check that out in other places for more information. I didn't put it on here, honestly, for one of the reasons, because it didn't fulfill this criterion. It seems like a pretty weak system. For an extra challenge, try to prove that these systems all fulfill this criterion. So that was the Pareto condition, all yeses there. It seems like at this point, oh look, all these systems are gonna do so well, there's gonna be a lot of systems that fulfill all these conditions. You would think that right here. In the next couple of conditions, we're gonna have a few problems. So next up is the Condorcet win criterion, followed by the independence of irrelevant alternatives, and finally, non-dictatorship. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.